Let's go through a simplified workflow of printing one of my images so that you can get just the general basics of how to uh, print from Lightroom. So from the grid module, I'm going to select an image. I'm gonna hit D to go into the develop module. And once your image is processed uh, to your liking, the next step is to soft proof the image. And this will simulate the way the, the image will look when printed on a specific paper using a specific ICC profile. And this will give you a better sense of how the image is gonna change. If it changes at all, it'll also allow you to set the rendering intent for uh, the, the, the print process. And so let's talk about that next. So I'm gonna hit S for soft proof and then Y, which bring, brings up a comparison view. And the image on the left is our original image. And the one on the right is the one that has a paper profile applied to it. When you go into the soft proof uh, mode, you'll get this new window here on the right hand side. And here you'll be able to choose the ICC profile for the paper that you wanna use. Uh, I wanna print this image onto uh, Cans on Infinity Rag Photographique. And so I'm gonna click on this drop down next to profile and choose the profile that matches that paper. And once again, these profiles have been downloaded from the Cans on Infinity website. They all have the same naming convention. So they all start with CIFA for Cans on Infinity Fine Art, P800 for the printer that I wanna print on, my Epson P800, and then RAG Photographic 310 for the paper type. So I select that profile. And once I select that profile, and also make sure, again, that simulate paper and ink here is checked. Once I select that profile, then this, the right side of my display will change to simulate what that print is going, what that image is going to look like based on the paper that I've chosen, which again is based on the profile. The rendering intent, which I can choose here below, either perceptual or relative, basically allows you to control how the image is compressed or how the colors are mapped from the larger gamut of the original image to the smaller gamut of the paper that I've chosen. So the colors have to go from, once again, a larger gamut or a larger color space in essence to a smaller color gamut. And the way those colors are compressed and moved from one uh, gamut to the other is controlled through uh, our rendering intent. And there are basically two that are used, perceptual and relative, and it's simply a matter of visually seeing which one matches the original image better. There is, there is no real formula or uh, necessarily a, a right or a wrong one. It's just simply verifying or, or comparing the left and right. So as an example here, I'm gonna choose perceptual and you can see how the right side changes. I choose relative and to my eye, the relative rendering intent matches my original a little bit better than the perceptual. So I'm going to go with relative as my rendering intent for this print only. Every time you print an image and the image is you know, obviously different, then you have to go through the same process and choose the best rendering intent. Also, if I want to apply any adjustments to this image for printing using this profile and this paper, I can do so as well. And if I go ahead and make a change here, for example, I like to typically apply a little bit more clarity to my uh, prints or to my images when I'm going to print them. So if I add a little bit more clarity here, Lightroom will ask you if you want to create a proof copy. And I'm going to click on yes. And now this creates, a, in essence, a virtual copy, a proof copy of this image that is specifically uh, adjusted to print on RAG Photographic. And if I jump back to the library module, you can see in my grid that now I have the virtual copy here. And this is my proof copy for printing on this paper. And you can see that Lightroom has even named it with the profile that I used, which again is CIF AP 800 RAG Photo. So I remember now, or I'll be able to remember that this virtual copy is specifically for printing on this paper. 